77. There were submissions made about whether the service requirement under the Act had been met and whether there had been disclosure as required by the Act. But these matters were, in my view, faintly pressed and the application was defended on the basis of material being properly before the court. So we have this guy who's part of this curial operation who we think's a bit crazy and we need to stop him from being part of this curial belief that's now backed up by the justice. He did nothing wrong in the fur. This evidence trail linking Matthew Reason through to Miss Prince's documents is obviously the police prosecution and it's a bid to formulate a case matter against the defendant without even taking into consideration the organisation at which they have presented to the court. It, it brings this curial question to the forefront, doesn't it? What is a peacekeeping force? Why is it celebrating 75 years of being a peacekeeper on these lands? 76. Whilst the defendant's possession of an unregistered gel blaster was sufficient to qualify him as an eligible offender, the nature of the offences weighs strongly against the order being made. The, the demonstrated action by Matthew Reason to target only one single man and try and trip that man up over his court matters, knowing that these police would further harm this man's life, demonstrates what the police are. They're the only service in the country that are actively going out pestering people for their own business. And that's what the, they're doing, is they're creating business for themselves. This is what, that's pretty much all they do outside of their obligations to keep the peace. The way the policy enforces keep the peace is by breaking it. They're the ones that are actively on the hunt all the time for minor infractions that could cause state revenue to occur. They're debt collectors. They haven't come to the realisation yet that their actions over the last two years aren't going to gain them the respect that they ever had in society prior to it. Victorian police are going to have a very hard time ever getting Victorians to be on side again after it wasted its public trust. The entire public trust of Victoria was wasted on the Victorian markets and the episode at the Shrine. That's what your state police did. And you can't quite forget this quickly, can you? That's what this justice is hinting at when she speaks about a curial overthrow of government. She's not talking so much as an overthrow because government doesn't need to stop. Most of these people working in these roles have got no friggin' clue easily demonstrated by Detective Senior Constable Matthew Reason's comments on the court register himself. 75. It is significant that the offending for which the defendant was sentenced under the code was relatively low level in that it was a simple offence of use of carriage service to menace, harass or to offend rather than the type of offending in Chapter 5C of the Code, urging violence against the Constitution or against groups or advocating terrorism. Well, it's kind of funny that the Constitution is mentioned and highlighted here too, in that the Constitution forms the very f foundation or basis of this claim that is under the blessing of Almighty God in the first place. 
and there are, there is a part of this claim that is outside of the constitution that would hold this this that would hold the constitution as a sacred founding document so to terrorize against what would be our house would be a pretty stupid thing when it's the nanny in the house that seems to be the problem it's this peacekeeper 75 years plus that's just celebrated its 75th year of looking after you all like children that needs to be addressed rather than the house itself at which constitutionally is operating under an administrator wherein you'll find executive branch changes to that constitution but like i said there, there are things that stand at law in places higher than the constitution that allow the constitution to take its place as a founding document john howard attempted to install a preamble to a constitution where constitution act already defined preamble wherein line of authority to that constitution was defined and that line of authority took very specific changes there are a certain changing of a landscape curially during these events 74 the defendant submitted that first the statutory preconditions in the act have not been met second the court would not be satisfied to the necessary degree that the defendant poses an unacceptable risk of committing a serious terrorism offence if not kept under the supervision under the Act. It was also submitted that third, the court would not be satisfied that the matters alleged in the documentation would, if proved, justify making the extended supervision order. So we get back to the beginning of this justice laying out the defendant's claims and how they rebut the plaintiff or the state's claims and we've seen how the justice has defined in writing her acknowledgement of a certain right curially defining something at international law and then hinting that these laws that were presented to be followed exist in the real and are outside of the hands of the defendant it is kind of strange though that the actions of the state in this matter alone have then gone full circle to be a war crime against the defendant himself that that opens the door to rule 92 before before opening that to a wider scope there is a definitive linking of this state police protection squad corrective services and forensic mental health in that they all colluded together to fabricate evidence to frame an innocent Christian man into being a terrorist and treat him in the most heinous ways possible going against international law at which even those terrorists are afforded better than what occurred here. I think about that. The New South Wales government treats terrorists better than it treats people of the Commonwealth of Australia. That's very apparent by what you've just witnessed here.